Good morning, y'all. We are leaving, where are we? Monte Vista. Monte Vista, headed toward Pagosa Spring. And then, oh, my head's in the way. And then um, we're going to Durango. And then we're going to Chimney Rock, some waterfalls and stuff like that. So, um, everybody say good morning. Good morning. You gotta say it loud. Good morning. Good morning. As you can see, they are, uh, the girls are really engaged in taking in all of the scenery um, as we travel through the mountains that we get to see every day. There's that hot driver again. Talk about the weather. Oh yeah, I guess I'm talking about the weather. It's beautiful, and I don't even know the temperature, probably in the high 50s. Actually feels really good because there's no wind and there's sun, so I can take high 50s in that condition. Um, also, we stayed in a really cool hotel last night, and I tried to get some video of it, um, but I had to be really quiet because I didn't want to wake up um, the elderly people that were still asleep in the hotel. and. They also apparently were doing yoga in the middle of the lobby. It was really strange. But anyway, here's the hotel we stayed at. And next stop, Pagosa Springs. So we stayed at this really cool hotel last night. And it's like this old 1930s hotel. And it even has like an old timey elevator. And I swear it reminds me of The Shining. Look at this. Red rum, red rum. Look at that. Can't you just imagine a little boy riding down a motorcycle, I mean, a tricycle? Red rum, red rum. Okay, so this is the old timey elevator and it actually comes up. You have to open the door, open slide it out. Ah. There's a little button for the elevator, and then you get in the elevator, and then open, and check this out. It's the actual buttons for the elevator. Like, I don't even know, there's, I don't know if you can see, it says Otis Elevator Company. Like, super cool, straight from the 1930s. Home. And it's really fast. So here's the lobby. There's, I don't know what that is. A heater, maybe? A stove. This is a very... Yeah, and it's here's like, it's not just the head. It's like it's its chest and its head. It just started up its legs. It's weird. I guess this is on the National Registry of Historic Places or something like that. It is super cool. Here's the ginormous random zebra head. So we just came from Pagosa Springs and we're about to head to Durango. So here's what we've done since, uh, not, what's it called? Alamosa? Yeah. Check it out. Seriously, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous this is. It's a natural arch. And we drove through the boonies to get to you. And there's our car way down there. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna get down other than rolling, <laughs> but it was totally worth the climb up. Look at the view. I mean, if this creation doesn't say God, I don't know what does. Oh, there's two of them. All 
right, Emily. Get the arch in the, Where is in it? the background. I can't see anything. It's somewhere. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right, so we just finished hiking to the natural arch. It was awesome. Yep. It was quite a hard climb. Yeah, because there were a lot of loose rocks. Yeah, loose rocks, loose dirt. Um, I wouldn't suggest wearing sandals if you hike it. I mean, Wear just, like running just shoes. Just something I've thought of. Yeah. Um, so anyway, definitely all right. Worth it. Definitely worth it. It's really fun. Yeah. On to our next adventure. Oh. Seriously, y'all. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're taking a shortcut. Wish us luck. This is never a good sign. That's a school bus with shingles on it. Someone lives way out here. And they have their own water tower. Talk about living off the grid. So I'm not sure that this like is coaster. considered good parenting, <laughs> but the girls sure are having fun looking at prairie dogs what is the car in the middle of nowhere. Oh. All right, we're driving through a tunnel in the middle of the mountain. I think you're supposed to hold your breath in tunnels. Hold your breath. We made it to Durango. We had a great <laughs> we had a great time, but as you can see from this man, that we are exhausted. So we're gonna go to our little house, and oh, actually, first we're gonna go to the grocery store. Then we're gonna go to our little house, and we are going to zonk out. Seriously, y'all. Seriously, 